What's good YouTube, welcome back to another video. We're out here at Volcluse again, and today we are shooting with Jody from 520 Management. Uh, we're shooting on the Pentax 645, and we're gonna be shooting on the Portra 400. I'm actually keen to try this out because I never shot Portra 400 on an overcast day. Usually I'm used to it shooting with direct harsh light. So I'm pretty keen to see how this turns out. We're here in the lush greenery, so hopefully some nice tones and colors will pop through. But anyway, keen to have you join us for this one. All right, so as mentioned, I hadn't shot Portra 400 or any of the Portra ranges in an overcast lighting scenario before. So I was really curious to see how it could turn out, especially if I generally just overexposed it by one stop throughout the entire shoot. Um, we were shooting mid-afternoon, a couple of hours before the sun had set. So there was still ample amount of light and it was relatively soft. And yeah, that's really just, I was just very curious about it. Um, so I think let's just start, um, I think here is fine. Let's start there and we'll just start slow, easy, then we'll work into it. Obviously okay. I want to get a feel for how you move. Okay, All so like, what, do you want me to just be like posing or like walking? Um, mostly we'll just be posing because it's on film. I don't need to okay, slow like, it real down. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I want to try and get this windy thing in the photo yep. as well. So yeah. So I'm going to get you to sort of move for me just generally. I'm going to kind of stop you. And yeah. yeah, when I kind of see you. Can you, with one hand, like tuck your hair behind your ear, like this one? Yeah, perfect. Three, two, one. Um, let's do some mid shots. So pretty straight on, I think. I think the sun is over that way. So if you tilt that way a little bit, so you're a bit more relaxed and broken down. <laughs> like you're falling over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of like you're falling over. Like you're actually about to fall on your face. Yeah. Yeah, that's great there. All right, three, two, one. Yeah, and then I might get you to pop one of the sashes over your arm. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good. Focus, three, two, one. Great. Yeah. Like both equally? Yeah, like that. Three, two, one. All right, let's try like fake movement. So okay. we'll try and get you to like pretend walk. Um, if you want to walk this way like as if you're walking off the and kind of like, yeah, just make sure you do one of these movements. Mm -hmm. um, I reckon I can try and, I'll, I'll try and risk it. Okay. You know, risk I'll try and risk it. Why not? It. I'm a professional. Well, I can do this. Go. Just going to walk in a straight line, if that makes sense. Just give it a couple of goes so I can have a, have a look. A bit more and like look at the camera as well. Yeah. Hopefully that turned out. <laughs> if it doesn't, it's Jody's fault. No, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. It's totally my fault. Um, let's try a couple of real close beauty shots. Um, so if you wanna, yeah, just there is perfect. Take one step back and I'm gonna get you to maybe put one hand across your shoulder there. Yeah, cool. Yeah, and down, yeah. That's beautiful. Three, two, one. And then turn your body slightly that way and then turn your head towards me. Yeah, beautiful. I want you to give me just the slightest amount of squint. Yeah. Three, two, one. That was beautiful. Great. Let's try something else. Let's try like a whole body with the landscape. And can you try a couple of uh, poses with your arm up maybe? Yeah. All right, three, two, one. And I'm gonna stay there. I'm gonna get real close in this shot because I love your face there. All right, three, two, one. Awesome. So for the first half of the shoot, I am relatively happy with the results. There is still plenty of light to create a relative amount of contrast in my images and also to make sure that we still get plenty of color coming through. I love how the model Jody's skin has rendered. It's come out pretty okay. I would say it's on the, on the slightly not quite saturated for my personal liking, um, but 
Portrait is a very neutral film stock, so that's understandable. And I can always edit this in post just to bring it back to the stage where I would personally prefer it. But honestly, plenty of light. I actually don't mind the soft light. I think there's still plenty of contrast in these images. Uh, I did overexpose by one stop or try to as much as possible. And yeah, honestly, I love how the greens have turned out. I do think that you can tell that this was shot on an overcast day just by how the light has just sort of all around just been relatively diffused compared to a you know a regular sunny day where you know if you normally might shoot film on a on a day where there's plenty of light just to make sure that you get as much dynamic range and as long you know just to get the most out of your film really because film generally tends to be pretty hungry for light but you know what I'm, i've been pretty happy with these fit scans for the first half of the shoot these scans i love the most with jody just being right next to the bush um i think yeah just the light just really hit her face so so well and definitely some of these shots you can tell they're not quite as uh, saturated the colors aren't quite popping and that definitely is as a result of it being shot on an overcast day and there just not being enough sort of i guess quality of light um that's directly surrounding us that's bouncing light off um, and just helping the model skin pop and whatnot but still super happy with it i think it's super beautiful and it's just nothing that i you know can't touch up a little bit in in just post editing workflow just to give it a little bit more life Alright, so as we moved on from this portion of the shoot, we walked further down towards where there were some rock cliffs. Um, I just wanted a bit of a change of scenery and to be a little bit more away from the general greenery and just to have a different background. We were walking out into somewhere where there was a bit more light because um, I kind of gauged that the light was fading relatively fast. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's turned out pretty well here. I definitely exposed correctly, I think, ended up because it just kind of ended up being a bit awkward on the metering where I was just only able to overexpose slightly. Um, but then I do, did want to shoot at a higher aperture. So yeah, so I ended up kind of exposing relatively correctly. Um, hence why the shadows are a little bit muddy. Um, but honestly, there's still plenty of light hitting her and, you know, her face kind of captures light pretty beautifully. So I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, I, I do wish I had overexposed even to two stops just to push myself. I rarely do. So this was one of those moments where I kind of went with my gut. And now that I see the results, I can definitely just next time in a similar situation. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Um, let's try have you like just leaning here, sort of like that. Oh, he's moving. <laughs> hold up, hold up. I got you. He's so furry. I've actually never seen a bug so furry. Welcome to Australia. <laughs> mm. All right. I like that. Keep it there. Three, two, one. Do mid. Really like that. Three, two, one. And then really like lean back a little bit more. Yeah, I love that. And then touch your head towards me a little bit there. Um, nah, go to the other one. Actually, touch your just head up. I think that was a bit better. Three, two, one. And maybe I'll try and go on the rock and um, shoot square on. So. All good. Love a good rock climbing moment. <laughs> yeah. I think, do you want to like pop out your elbows a little bit more and maybe pop like one of your arms, hands up? Yeah, actually, let's do that. That's good. Can you pop your sashes in front of you for both of them? Yeah. Uh, three, two, one. And can you actually like pop and lean back? Just like that. And just have your eyes closed and I'll shoot from above here. 
and like tilt your body, like upper body back a bit more. Yeah. Three, two, one. Great. Let's try maybe squatting. Yeah, you are a good squatter. I am a good squatter. Yeah. Actually, was great. My like hamstrings are so tight that I can't touch my toes when I'm like standing <laughs> up. It's so weird. I don't think I can do it either. Oh, yeah, I, I can't. Like, the back of your I can't. I'll it's just have like to so fix this. So for you. I'm just gonna have to. So by this stage, I was pretty aware that the light had been fading quite quickly and I just could see even just through metering on my phone and metering through the camera that um, I, my shutter speed was quite quite uh, slow. I think this was at 60th by the time I was really um, coming to the end of my roll. So yeah, I just definitely had to be careful. Uh, I'm so aware that even shooting at a wider aperture of 2.8, just to get myself a bit more light um, in, in this scenario, sometimes it is a hit and miss because it is a medium format. So I just had to make sure I got in close and I held the camera as steady as possible to get my shots. And honestly, I'm, I'm okay with it. I don't think I'm like completely impressed, but I'm not completely unimpressed either, if that makes sense. And yeah, Again, just an experiment just to see how shooting film in an overcast day would really turn out. Uh, these were all generally overexposed by one stop. And, you know, I, I actually think I would go for overexposing by two stops Ever next time. So slight to squint. Three, two, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, that's film done. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for joining us for another behind the scenes video. I hope you enjoyed it and I am stoked with the results. So yeah, if you like this content, make sure you like the video and make sure you subscribe if you're keeping up to it and make sure you go check out Jody, Al Tiger and anyone relevant in the link below. So yeah, until next time, peace. <laughs>